Hello and welcome everyone to this episode of Evil Essentials. Whether you are a new or returning Hearthstone player, there's never been a better time to enter the tavern. With the release of the Rise of Shadows expansion and the start of a new standard year, the Year of the Dragon, we have the fewest number of cards in standard for ages. This means that you will get more bang for your buck when buying packs and you have to collect fewer total cards in order to keep up with the meta. But before you can worry about keeping up with the meta, let's have a look at some Hearthstone fundamentals. My name is Dib and I'm going to be teaching you about value and tempo, with some examples courtesy of a new mechanic in Rise of Shadows. First, let's discuss value. Value is all about getting the most value that you can from your cards, one of the key resources that a player has to manage in Hearthstone. For example, if you can remove two of your opponent's minions with one of your cards, then you have managed to gain value over your opponent by getting a two for one trade. You've removed two of your opponent's cards whilst only using one of your own. This is a win in terms of value. Let's have a look at an example from Rise of the Shadows that can be great for generating value. The Forest's Aid is a new druid spell, an eight mana spell that summons five two two treants, but that's not all, it also has twin spell. Twin spell is a new mechanic whereby when you cast the first copy of a card with Twin Spell, you will get another copy of the card back in your hand, but without the Twin Spell keyword. This means we can cast our Twin Spells exactly twice, just as the name implies. So let's have a look at how this plays out in game. If we have a look here, we can cast the Forest's Aid with Twin Spell on in order to summon 5 2 2 Treants. 10 10 worth of stats is not bad at all, but that's not all we get. We also get a copy of the Forest's Aid back in our hand, but without the Twin Spell mechanic on it, meaning that we can cast these spells exactly twice, as the name implies. And this is good because even if our opponent is able to clear our board, and it seems like they are able to here, then that's alright, because they have had to spend one card to clear the first half of our Treants, and we can use the second half of the Forest's Aid to summon a whole nother set of 2-2 two -two Treants. This is really powerful because... Even if, in the worst case scenario, our opponent is able to clear this board, we've still managed to gain a value advantage, as they have had to spend two cards to clear our Forest's Aid, which is essentially just one card split up with the Twin Spell mechanic. And, in the scenario where they're not able to clear our board, it's even better for us, because we can make use of all the powerful trans synergies that we have in this Token Druid deck. This is actually a very good turn to go back and have a look at and see exactly what the best option is here and let us know in the YouTube comments. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn all these 2-2 two -two treants into 5-5s five and generate 25-25 worth of stats. Then use our Blessing of Ancients uh, in order to give them all plus 1 plus 1. And now we have a humongous board. Uh, and our opponent, if they weren't able to clear those last 2-2 two -two treants before, are going to really struggle to clear these 6-6s. Six and that's going to be enough to secure us victory. Value is not the only thing that Twin Spells can do for us. So let's have a look at the second key fundamental we're going to be learning about today. Tempo. Tempo is all about the advantage we have on the board. What we have in play versus what our opponent has in play. This can also be thought of as momentum. Having the tempo advantage allows us to dictate the flow of the game. That is, until you lose it. So let's have a look at a Twin Spell that can give us a tempo advantage. Ray of Frost is a mage spell that costs 1 mana and freezes a minion. If it's already frozen, it deals 2 damage to it. And importantly, it's also a twin spell. So this means that it has a lot of flexibility. Uh, and if we have a look at an example here of how we can use Ray of Frost to give us a tempo advantage, we can see a board state where our opponent has 2 powerful minions in play, but we can use Ray of Frost to freeze both of them essentially removing them from activity from the board for a whole turn whilst we develop our own cosmic anomaly. This means that we're going to have initiative with our cosmic anomaly as our opponent is not going to be able to attack with their frozen minions during their turn and we're going to be able to attack with our minion before they can attack. So now we have covered the two important fundamentals in Hearthstone, value and tempo. The real trick is to recognize when you need to play for value and when you need to play for tempo. As a rule of thumb, if you want to win in the long term, then play for value. Whereas, if you want to win in the short term, then rather play for tempo. Knowing exactly which to play for when is key to winning games in Hearthstone and climbing the ranks at all levels. So go out there and test the new Rise of Shadows cards and decks 
and apply these lessons of value and tempo to your games. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to find out more, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at dib underscore gaming, where you can come drop by my stream and have your questions answered live. Thanks a lot everyone for watching and go out there and be evil.